The Miss Universe competition is being held in the Russian capital for the first time in the pageant's history. And making history at the competition as well this year is Miss Myanmar. Channel News Asia's Tom Barton has the details. Miss Universe comes to Moscow, and this year it's bringing with it one very special competitor. It's not all about individual glamour. For these women, Miss Universe is a very real chance to showcase their countries to the world. And for one woman from Myanmar, it has finally been a chance for her to join that club. It was 1961 when Myanmar's military dictatorship stopped competitors coming to Miss Universe. But now 25-year-old Mo Set Wine is back flying the flag. I feel that because 53 years is a very long time, so I feel that uh, this is like a new story, a new history, and uh, this is after the first time after the changes in Myanmar started, so I feel very proud and honoured. With 86 contestants this year, Miss Universe just got a little more competition. That's fine, says the current Miss Universe, and crucially, it's a good sign at home in Myanmar too. I'm sure that it wasn't easy for them to accept this and for her to have come out and, and make it okay is a step forward and hopefully it could lead to other things becoming okay in the country. Not that things are all so easy yet. In one part of the contest, competitors wear swimsuits. This was a test for Myanmar's conservative society, but those present at the selection competitions didn't mind. The people who came to the to the show actually love it like they ac they accept it because uh, the announcer also explained that this is to see how healthy a body is not only is this great exposure for Myanmar it's also a chance for Mo herself doing her country proud she's already one of the favorites to be the next Miss Universe Tom Barton Channel News Asia Moscow